What's up, FOA squad? I'm Anthony, and welcome to our channel, Life with Anthony. I hope you guys are doing well out there. Happy whatever day I get to post this video for you guys. Today, guys, I'm super excited because I decided to have a fun day at Epcot here in Orlando, and I'm so excited. It's been many years since I've been here, and today is a fun day, and I'm taking you guys with me. All right, guys, the first attraction that I'm going on is the Spaceship Earth. I should be able to uh, show you guys inside of this. I've been in this like years ago, and I'm gonna see if I can remember it. Wow, guys, I just got off of the Epcot ride. I'm telling you, I'm so glad I did not remember that experience from years ago because it was such an amazing re rediscovery of what it was. I really, really enjoyed that. So let's keep moving ahead and see what else we can get into. All right, guys, I had to turn my hat around because I misplaced my prescription sunglasses. So my next attraction that I'm heading to is called Fast Track. It's kind of like a race car type of deal. So I'm excited about this. guys I just got off of the test track it was absolutely amazing I had so much fun on it I tried to show it but I kept on jerking around you can hear it move it now I wish I had my little handheld uh, tripod it would have been so much better but anyway I'm heading toward the different countries now maybe grab something to eat at one of the countries and we'll take it from there Hey guys, I am currently in Mexico, as you just saw, some performers. This is a whole big wraparound, and every as you walk further and further around, you'll get to different countries. Oh, 
All right, guys, that was actually Norway and not Germany. I just asked for one of the uh, workers there. All right, this looks like we are definitely heading towards Japan. You can tell by the music, it's actually China. This is absolutely beautiful. Look at that ceiling. Wow, that's absolutely beautiful. That really wasn't a lot in there to see or do. I remember years and years ago, I guess because of COVID and everything, things have changed, the outdoor performances and stuff. I just asked the woman, do they have outdoor performances? And she said, no, they don't do that anymore, but they have um, a movie showing inside. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> All right, guys, so I guess that wraps up Japan. Okay, this is Germany. This is the eating circle. Mm, something smells good. Maybe I'll try. Ah, here's the restaurant. I can't decide which country I want to grab something to eat from. Here's the buffet for this restaurant. It's $49. All you can eat. Nah, I'm not gonna pay $49 to eat uh, a buffet. Uh, so let's keep on towards the other countries and see if I can find something to eat here. Okay, I'm pretty sure that this is the beginning of Italy because I see a pizzeria coming up. I'm just starting to notice that each of these countries is more focused on like food, which I think is from a Here. I don't know that I want Italian either. This is what some of the things that this restaurant has to offer. This is This is Japan area. I 
remember now when I came here, right up there, right here, they had three performers with these big drums and everything, pounding away some Japanese music. Oh, and I also remember Beautiful. This is an outdoor restaurant, like not restaurant, but eating areas. I remember eating at one of these restaurants. been this one right here. I see something very interesting right here. Wow, look at this. What an interesting Piece of art. I love this type of art right here. Wow, I guess this is a Japanese snack store. <laughs> they have all kinds. I've had these pockies. Us here they got every flavor imaginable. Look at their version of a Kit Kat. That look like a cheesecake of some sort. I should try some of this. Just buy me some snacks. Look at these drinks. Oh my heavens. This is sake. Look at these different drinks. The bottles are amazing. I love these bottles. I think this is wine. Yeah, you Alright guys. I'm gonna try one of these rice cakes. They have so many different flavors. This one here is green tea. Don't think I want that one. Sesame rice. I have no idea what what this is. White cheek. I'm giving my mother-in-law. I might go with a banana one. I don't think you can go wrong with that. Or pineapple. Sweet fruit. What it says. That doesn't tell much. It doesn't. Look, small green fruit with. Yeah, but what's that? It's fruit. Okay, I'll pass. <laughs> Alright guys, I decided to grab a little 
table here and a little seat outdoors. And I, I bought the banana rice cakes. And I also bought some, these are some shrimp chips baked and they are hot garlic. And I bought some white peach. So I'm gonna snack on these for a second until I find something good to eat. All right guys, let's try this banana rice cake. This is what it looks like. It has, oops, has some powder on it. Hmm. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my God, that is delicious. It's chewy though, but once you get into it, well, oh my God, the flavors just come out. Oh. Oh my goodness, these things are delicious. Wowza, wow. Ooh, Anthony, please don't eat this whole pack right now. Oh my God, these are so good. Banana rice cakes. I might go and buy me another flavor and take back with me to the um, campground. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. All right, let me try this white peach drink. I may not even be able to taste it because that that rice cake wasn't, it wasn't that sweet. It was the right amount of sweetness. Oh my gosh. Wowza, <laughs> that was so refreshing. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my God, that was so good. Now I'm gonna try these shrimp chips baked hot garlic. Let me get into these. All right guys, let's try a couple of these. Okay. Not bad, not bad. Good too. I'm about to go in there and get me some more snacks. <laughs> okay, Japan. Y'all got it going on with the snacks. Mm. Let's sit down. Mm, mm -mm. These things are delicious too. Mm. <laughs> oh my gosh, Anthony. <laughs> All right, enough. Mm. All right, guys, there's my snacks. I'm about to run back in here and get a different flavor of these rice cakes because the pineapple one is so good. And then I'm going to Head back out on the streets to the remaining countries that I have to visit. All right, guys, I am entering into Morocco and I think I'm gonna try some food here. Okay, yeah. Let's go in here and get some kebabs. All right, guys, I'm going to try a lamb kebab. It was only $5.75, so it looked like a little sample one. Thank you. Thank you. All 
All right, guys, I'm about to try this lamb kebab. It's supposed to be a kebab, but they don't even have the uh, stick to go through it. I thought all kebabs had a, a stick through it, which made it a kebab. It has a little salad that comes with it too. But this is a lamb kebab, so let me give it a shot right quick. You know what it tastes like to me? Meatloaf. <laughs> it tastes like meatloaf. I'm glad that this was a sample and it only cost me five bucks. All right, let's head out. All right guys, we are now heading into France. Maybe I can try a snack or two in, from France. Let's see. is France known for? Let's go look at this menu over here. Uh, let's see. Black winter truffle croissant. Warm creamy brie and a house-made bread bowl. Oh Lord, I'm gonna try to peek behind there and see what it looks like. Here is the France scene. <laughs> this don't seem like nothing but places to eat. There you go, you got it. Alright guys, I'm here to get some fish and chips. Uh order fish and chips please. Just one? Yes please. That's please. Look at these birds right here. I hope they don't I better watch my food. Alright, this is what the fish and chips look like. All right, guys, let's try this uh, fish and chips. Fish. I have to sit here <clears throat> on the ground or a little stoop, rather. It's really, really crunchy.
<clears throat> All the tables with umbrellas were taken. All right, guys, I'm going to finish up these uh, fish and chips and I'm going to stop making my way back to the exit because I think I only have two more countries to go to, Canada and another one. All right, guys, I think Canada is right here and I think that's the last country before the exit. And quite frankly, I am ready to exit. Uh, I've been here for, I think, three or four hours now and I am moving slower and slower. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm gonna do a quick run through in Canada and see what they have there. And then I'm gonna head on my way out. Guess what guys, I left my bag of snacks that I bought from Japan at the Moroccan table, underneath the table, where I ate the lamb kebab. So I'm rushing back there to see if it's still there or if somebody turned it in. Oh my goodness. Always something there for me. Look guys, it was still underneath the table. <laughs> Yay! I was so happy to see this bag. Now let me get on my way out of here. This is a steakhouse. So let's see what they have. see too much Canadian stuff here. <laughs> huh. I didn't hardly see anything Canadian. All right, guys, that's going to conclude today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed my visit to Epcot. As always, thank you guys for taking a few minutes out of your day to watch my videos. I appreciate you guys. You know that. And I'll see you guys the next time.